What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back in for the reaction of today's a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible, delicious, beautiful day because it is a Nordic day. I'm just gonna say Nordic because we're in Svalbard. Life in the darkest place on earth, 24 seven darkness. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Wow. 9 a.m. What a vibrant day, everybody. <laughs> what a vibrant day, everybody. Uh, can't lie, it's 9 a.m. 9 a.m. and it's that dark. I don't know if you guys have entered spring now. I'm guessing your days are, you know, longer, a little bit longer. But wow, that's incredible. That dark at 9 o'clock. It's nine in the morning and it's polar night. So it looks like this all day long, 24 seven for a bit more than two months. That's insane. Like 24 seven, just looking like that. 24 hours a day. Oh my God. I don't know how that, what would that do to your body? Like, what does that do? Do you need to have like special UV lamps in your house? Like, what does that do? That's wild. <laughs> Some days I'm just like, wait a minute, what? I love this though, but it is wild, isn't it? Very. I think it is, I'll think it is. Welcome back to Svalbard everyone. My name is Cecilia and I live on an island close to the North Pole and we are in our polar night season. Our island is located so far north that the tilt of the earth hides us from the sun for four months, leaving wow. us in a complete darkness for over two of those months. The sun set wow. for the last time at the end of October and ever since then our days have grown darker and now there's no visible difference between day or night, leaving us in a long polar night slumber. If you've been here before on my channel, welcome back. And if you haven't, it's welcome to- absolutely beautiful. I don't know how I triggered the subtitles. I'm very sorry, but oh my God. Look how beautiful that is. Like it's just, who thought, okay, let's, let, let's create a town this far north. Wow. No, a town, it's an island. To wow. life in the darkest place on earth. It's about, I don't think, I think it's maybe minus six degrees, but it's no, not a lot of wind. So it's okay. It's a good wake up. Yeah. So now we live in complete darkness and uh, life continues like normal. Everything is open. I think the only big difference is our flight schedule with the airplanes. Now we get about half of the flights every week. Oh, that was cold. That was a little okay. bit of wind anyway. But so there are not a lot of changes to our lives during this season. We basically just kind of embrace the darkness and cozy up inside or we go on moonlit hikes or, you know, because wow. it's a long season. There's no use in complaining about it. But I personally love the dark of the polar night. I find it so cozy and just it's so wild that this is a thing, you know, because we're so far north that this is possible, that we get constant darkness for wow. two, over two months. <laughs> it's wild, it is crazy. Like, I just don't, I can't imagine what that's like. I would love to experience it maybe for a day. <laughs> don't know if I could do two months though, but yeah. I just feel like that is something we get to experience rather than we have to like endure. You know what I mean? That's a good way to think about it, to experience and not endure. She said two months from October, so that means it should be done now, right? So like we're now in, yeah, it should be well done. We're in April, so it should, there should be some light <laughs> in the day. So today I'm going to take you through the entire day to show you exactly how dark it is because i think it's very difficult to explain but i think mostly it's difficult to imagine what that actually looks like 
you know? You keep thinking maybe like, oh, it's nine, it must get lighter. No, <laughs> it doesn't. So that's what we're doing today. So I shall see you at 11 o'clock. That's crazy, but so beautiful. That's where she lives. Like, I want to know more than just like looking at the darkness and looking at like, you know, this place, Svalbard, which is, I think it's, near, it's Norway, right? Or near Norway. Instead of just looking at the place, it's beautiful, of course. Um, I want to know more her story. Like, how did you end up on this island? Did you grow up on this island? Like, uh, you know, why would you choose to live there? Like, how do you get food? Like, how do you, you know, like just, I want to know like the basics of living on that island and how it works and functions. I'm sure she's going to get to that, but. Yo! What is it? Do you this? Hey. As you can see, not a lot of light, huh? It is 11. That's a cute dog. In the morning. 11 in the morning. Oh, tuck. Oi, oi, oi. Getting some playtime in. That oh, is you've such got to a play beautiful a little dog. bit. Grim becomes such a little sofa pig during this time of year. All he does is sleep. <laughs> he wants I to be inside. Him. He thinks being outside on his own is scary. So we kind of have to force him out and be like, let's play. Let's do this and that. And then he likes to. He wants to do everything together. Look. Everything together this time of year. <laughs> oh, you're so wacky. That is the cutest dog. Oh, oy, oy, oy. It's a little cold. Just a little bit chilly. Not too bad. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. What does she do for work? That's another thing. I'm like, what do they do for work? Like, what jobs can you do in that? I mean, guess we've got the internet now and she's clearly got the internet so you could work online, I guess. But do you know what I mean? Like, what would, like, I just, I just don't know. Like, do they just stay indoors all the time? Like, for two months? We are having some toasty days here on Svalbard. It's windy and the snow is melting and Grim is not having it. So this morning I caught him Aww. on his computer looking at photos of, not himself this time, but Finland. Sunny winter wonderland, Finland. He said he needs to go explore his routes and he also told me about how you can use NordVPN to get cheaper flight tickets. Which is just such a coincidence because NordVPN just ha- Do you know what? I'm not even mad. That is the best. I've seen um, I've seen many of these sponsored videos. This might be the best sponsored video with a cute dog like searching for VPNs. I love them to be sponsoring this video. So flight oh, prices can change depending on many different so things cute. and there are actually a bunch of things you can do to outsmart these price fluctuations. One of these is to use <laughs> NordVPN and connect to a server in a different country in order to find cheaper flight tickets. A VPN will also hide the data that airlines use to customize prices and it will also encrypt your traffic so you can avoid customer profiling based on your... That dog is... A, that is just a pretty dog. I know I keep talking about the dogs, but I like dogs, okay? Don't judge me. Your actions and data. Head to nordvpn.com like, slash Cecilia. I like, side note, I like her decor. It matches the dog's color. Or use the code Cecilia to get the exclusive deal of four months for free on a two-year plan. It is all risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day <laughs> money-back guarantee. Oh. Thank you so much, NordVPN. And let's head back to the video. One o'clock, afternoon, still dark. That's crazy. Ooh, you drop it on me. Oh, 
I need to know her story, though. Can you believe... Yeah, before you start talking, I need to know her story. Why is she... Why does she live there? Believe that it's 1 p.m. No. Me neither. Look at this. Uh, there's also a snowstorm coming our way. Oh, what is maybe that? Inside? It looks very ominous. <laughs> she needs to go inside and have some vatten uh, or vin. Probably is better. Och vin. Och vin. I'm learning, guys. I'm doing dual. Not du is it Duolingo. Duolingo. Um, and I'm learning little, little, little words, small words, Swedish words, no Norwegian words. So I'm learning. It's very beautiful today. We've had a little bit of mild weather these last few days, so we're very happy that this it's mild. snowing oh, no. and that it's below zero. It's just about below zero. Look, it looks like a little, like Santa Claus village. <laughs> oh, I love polar night. How do you feel about the polar night? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Come closer. How do you, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the polar night? <laughs> I like it. It's dark and it's nice. And yeah. You, you can do nothing for a couple of, for a month. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like the months. time of year we just chill. But today we're running errands in town. So now okay. we're going to head over to Nubin and drop off some books to Angie, who wants to borrow A Quartz of Thorns and Roses. And then we're going to go shopping at the store. Oh, so there is, they do have shops. What type of shopping? Do you mean food shopping? I don't know. I so know many questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's scatter. What's the cut? And so quiet. It kind of always is, but especially during polar night because it's so, you know, it isn't busy in town and the snow makes it so quiet. Oh, look, it's so gorgeous. Very beautiful. We are actually outside of the polar bear safety zone, but you know, we're with a car, so it's fine. But generally, if you're in town, Wait, what? Did she say polar bear? Polar bear. They're the most vicious bears on the planet. They have polar bears. And they're just walking around. I don't, that's, whoa. What? Safety zone. But you know, we're with a car, so it's fine. But generally, if you're in town, you shouldn't go past who sit down there. And then you can see on the other side, that is the other safety zone exit i was gonna say uh, last point okay so we're gonna head over to nubinu we're gonna just have to drive down there so and polar there bears going to the town and uh, drop off some books i can't get over the beauty this is i think one of the first days with complete darkness if i think about it maybe yesterday was also but definitely one of the first days with just Darkness, darkness all day but it looks a little bit lighter on camera i can tell you that but it's because it picks up so much light wow. but whoa how gorgeous also do you know why it looks a little bit lighter is because there's clouds above the village and that picks up a lot of light from the uh, different lights around so it also makes it a bit lighter okay so even though it's like full-on darkness I feel like this is a pretty light day to me. <laughs> I don't think this is that dark. It looks like winter wonderland for God's sake. I, I, yeah. Um, do they have kids in this village? Who lives there? How many people live there? She's not explaining. I need to know more about Svalbard. I need to know more about it. I, 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 it's just, I can't see anyone else around apart from her. And it's in the afternoon. So... Clearly, everyone stays indoors. Are there any kids? I'm guessing not, because why would you have a kid living in this area where there's polar bears and there's no there's no light? <laughs> there's no light for 24 hours a day. That's not a good place to raise kids. I wouldn't have thought 
but maybe I'm wrong. Green, we're going. You don't I'd like her to explain more the function Ooh, of the town. Cold. Oh, so gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, so there is a town centre, like a proper town centre. Two, oh, I just read there, it said, it said, with more than 2,000 permanent residents. So 2,000 people live there from many different countries. Longyearbyen is an Arctic metropolis. Okay, we have information. So I'm guessing visitors sometimes come to the town. You must be prepared. Nah, I could never live there, I'm sorry. <laughs> no way. It says you must be prepared to encounter polar bears anywhere or anywhere in Svalbard. What are you talking about? You mean to say that they... It says you must be prepared. That means polar bears are just always around. They're always walking around the town. Like, what does that mean? Oh, my God. Polar bear attacks can be fatal. No shit. Sorry for my language, but yes. You must arm yourself correctly if you go outside the settlement. Right. Okay. It's compulsory to carry a flare gun or similar equipment. The governor also recommends taking a big game rifle. Yeah. Relevant knowledge and experience are essential. The chances of encountering a polar bear in the settlement are low. Okay, they're not coming to the settlement. Okay. All sightings of polar bears in or near the settlement must be reported to the governor. Uh, okay. Sil semesteren by phone. Um, I love that it's in English. Um, okay. They said you won't inc encounter one if you're not if if you're in the settlement. Okay, so if I visit there, <laughs> which I'm probably not going to, but if I did, I would have to be with someone that has a rifle, or and stay within the settlement. I get it. Crazy. Can you believe this is at 3 p.m.? Still a light, the same as before. Just There's just no light. Room's going bananas because he's very excited about being in town. <laughs> being around people. Let me just count it, but. That dog is so cute. I don't know what, what. Let me know in the comment section what breed of dog that is. Is it a, um. Husky? It looks some like some sort of husky or husky cross. Let me know. Dog is beautiful. Gear the hell let's fall apart. I'm just guessing that's how you say it. It could be wrong. Um I well, I don't even need to understand what that means. I know Svalbard's a town. Um that's just like a caution saying polar bears. <laughs> I'll be going back into the town. Absolutely not. I would not be there. As you can see, it's not a big difference, is there? <laughs> I'm going to say that at every single time step. So we're out here now by the polar bear sign. And this marks the end of the village going this way. And if okay. you follow this road the other way, all the way through town and out, then you get to our cabin. So this is just pretty much opposite sides of that road. And yes, of course, after leaving this one, this is basically the point where you need to bring polar bear protection, which is a fryer arm of some sort. Okay. There's not a lot out here. We don't, we only have about 60 kilometers of road here on Svalbard. So there's not 
big road trip opportunities, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But right. what we have out here is a bunch of cabins. We have some different businesses like dog yards for dog sledding. Up there on the mountain is also the mine, the coal mine, the last coal mine that is also closing down soon. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what you got out here. And on almost every single snowmobile adventure that we go on, they start here. So this is Advent Dalen, Advent Valley, and it's a very long passage to wow. wherever you want to go. So if you want to go, for example, to the East Coast and you come here and you book a trip, you're, you're going to go through here. Most definitely. But yeah, we're getting some more snow. Well, we've had some more snow coming all day. Now it feels like it's in the middle, kind of hiatus. Also, another fun fact now that we're here, this is our drinking water. <laughs> She's funny. All of this here that's frozen now, that's oh, our right. drinking water. So you can't drive on it. You're not allowed to, you know, walk on it or anything when there's snow and ice. You can't swim in it. But yeah, interesting, interesting. Another you good fact. Water. Now i got to go and get my nails done. They're in here. I'm not going to show you. It's too embarrassing. I ruined them. I think I'm gonna. I love that they have all the normal. Not, I'm not. I expect them. You know, the town not to have normal amenities. But I love that life goes on. She's gonna get her nails done. She went to a friend to drop a book off. You know, they have like shops. She's go. She goes shopping. Like it looks very. No, it's normal. I wish she showed us more into these places and and showed us more of the people. Like she's been outside quite a lot, and I just like to know a little bit more. But maybe I have to watch another video for that. Um, I'm very just. I'm just very intrigued about this little island in the North Pole. Close Continue to the, the Pole. glitter phase of my life and just get some more glitter. I'm so excited. Seven o'clock. Still dark. It's seven p.m. Looks the same, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I just got and uh, went. What? I just wait. Hello. I just oh, nice. got my nails done and it's so quiet and so calm. Look at all the houses. It looks like it's one of those toy cartoon kind of Christmas towns. Yes, it does. You can hear the dogs from the dog yard all howling. I think somebody might be, you know, taking out a sled or something. Wakes all of them up. If you have private dogs, maybe huskies, and you can't have them in your apartment for some reason, or you have your own sled it team. It is a husky. You have them in the uh, dog yard that's for the locals, or you know, people's huskies or local small sled teams and stuff like that. Huskies are very loud dogs, aren't they? They like to talk a lot. They're like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Huskies are like talkers. Dog sledding teams, that is. Now we're gonna head on home. So quiet. Are those kids? Maybe there are kids. Sounds like there are kids that live there. I wouldn't see why not. I don't see why not, but it's just such a crazy environment to like bring a kid up in. But maybe during when it's light and it's sunny, it's really beautiful there. Oh, I can't wait to visit. I, I guys, <laughs> I really love like all these Nordic countries, like, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to go. I'm currently learning a bit of Swedish, which I feel like by proxy, if I'm learning a bit of Swedish, and I'm also learning a bit of Norwegian, what would you suggest? If I'm trying to learn a Swedish, um, how would I also learn Norwegian at the same time? Is it that different? Would I just automatically understand Norwegian if I learnt Swedish, let me know in the comment section. Let me know. Nine PM. Oh, it's good. Oh, you, you, you're hot. It's still snowy, and it's still dark <laughs> it's just Who's that surprised? constantly <laughs> very surprised oh. i love her energy <laughs> like i'd expect her energy to be i don't know like you know when it's dark people's energy is not up it, you know they're not 
you know, you even have vitamin D, you haven't had sun in a while, you know, you know, your energy levels not, might not be high, but she is acting like the sun is out and she's had all the vitamin D in the world. I love her energy, energy's great. Do you know why it's cold? It's only minus four, but it's been, it's only. a wet cold. Then it goes to your bones, doesn't it? He, he's, <laughs> and he sit. He seems fine in his t-shirt. He's just like, yeah, this is fine, whatever. It's gonna be good like goose. Yeah, come here. Hop up. There's so much no food here. But he sit. Oh, top. But he sit. That was a kiss. The dog is so cute. Oi, oi, oi. I want that exact dog. <laughs> now, I'm gonna go to bed. Has anyone got any puppies? I would like a puppy. I am very broody for a puppy. Like, I really want a dog. I've never had a dog, but my partner has had four dogs. So I've like, kind of, not kind of, I've spent a lot of time with a lot of dogs for a lot of years, but I've never had a dog myself. Um, I really want a dog. What would you suggest as a first dog? What's a good first dog to have? Let me know. I've looked after many dogs. But let me know what a first dog, what, what, what would you think? Like, what, in your head, like, mm, a medium-sized dog, not a large, large dog, and not a very, very small. Could be small, but not too small. I want like, a substantial size. I'm a big guy. I don't need a, a little dog. Medium-sized to large-sized dog. Let me know. So we're going to leave you guys, and we're going to see you next week. So if you want to continue and see the Polar Night Madness, that we can call it my favorite time of year subscribe maybe turn on notifications if you want to get notifications on when i post which is every sunday so every thank sunday. you so much for watching this video i, I actually the madness do of polar night will be here for a long time even though she didn't do much in this video um i just it's just pretty incredible looking at these this this town this in Svalbard and looking at the the dark nights and the way that they live, I'd like her to go into more depth. So maybe I'll have a look to see if she's got any other videos like going in depth of like the we town have, itself. What two months left? Two and a half. So we've just begun. Game call. That's why the dark nights have just begun. So she's still got energy. We'll see at the end of that to see if she still has any energy. Oh, there's a doggy chilling outside. <laughs> That's wild. Are we moving to Sabat? So she. Okay, so she lives somewhere else. I'm guessing she lived, she's, she's Norwegian, right? She sounds Norwegian. Um, and I'm guessing she moved to Svalbard. Wow. Guys, <laughs> that's awesome. The way other people live. Ah, oh, this is why I love the world. This is, my, this is where my fascination comes into place. Cause it's like, there, there are people all around the world that live different lives, have different cultures. And I just want to absorb all of those cultures. I want to absorb all of them. I want to see them. I want to visit. I want to explore. I want to experience. This is why I really want to go to Norway. I really want to go to Sweden. And I really want to go to Finland. And I will. And I am going to. And I'm going to be so excited. And I'm going to vlog everything when I do. Um, and you guys come with me. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you very soon.